Thank you, Alex. It was a good presentation. I hope everybody have seen all you shown and understand what Kfield is very versatile too. So, but we have some questions. A uh, few questions were answered during the presentations uh, directly to person who asked, but some may be interested, interesting for full audience. So, uh, first question, what is the frequency range for Kirkfield automatic simulations of induction heating? Uh, I will answer. Uh, Kirkfield does not take into account wave propagation effects and energy transmitted by radiation. So, uh, it means that Kirkfield is accurate enough while the wavelength is much larger than the object size. For object less or about one meter size, like most of inductors, we usually consider Q field to be good up to tens of megahertz, when wavelength is tens of meters. Smaller size of model, higher frequency is allowed. But it's very dependent upon the setup and upon the requirements for accuracy. But generally Q field is good up to tens of megahertz. Other question. Does Q field take into account thermal dependency of magnetic materials? What about Courier point? Uh, answer is, uh, it was mentioned during presentation, but it is possible to use active field to take this into account. We don't have direct ways in quick field user interface to uh, have nonlinear dependency of magnetic materials um, on temperature, but uh, you may prepare some macro or small application which analyze temperature and adjust problem parameters. We had shown it uh, in more details in one of previous webinars where our old customer Peter Dixon presented his approach for uh, such kind of simulation. You may find the recorded version of this webinar on our website. The webinar was called Quick Field for Electro Heating Applications or Design. Other question, what CAD programs could Quick Field work with? Uh, in addition to built-in ge geometry modeler, Quick Field supports RPAD DXF import and export, and also we have SOLIDWORKS plugin for importing SOLIDWORKS to these sketches directly to the field model. And uh, one more question. Uh, what are the typical hardware requirements for quick field simulations of induction heating? Answer is quick field is very humble on computer requirements. Generally, any computer where Windows works uh, will suit us. Main limitation is size of RAM. and you, if you have more than 2 gigabytes of uh, memory under XP or more than 3 gigabytes of memory under Vista or Windows 7, usually you will meet no limitations on the problem size and capacity due to computer resources. Uh, no more questions now. So it looks like we finished this webinar. Uh, we invite everybody uh, to register to our next webinars and uh, on our website on the registration page, you will see the announce of the next webinar today. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we appreciate your time, and I hope it was not too dull for you. Thank you. That's it now.